Do let us know where you're watching from. The hashtag is Easy Friday at KBC Channel 1 at Shiksha Aurora and at John underscore Cargo underscore M on Twitter. Right, uh, let's continue with the news that's uh, been shipping up tonight. The Court of Appeal uh, rejecting an application by uh, Chief Administrative Secretary Dennis Itumbi seeking to suspend orders uh, that stop them from assuming office and drawing salaries. Now, the three judge bench comprising of Justices Helen Omondi, Imana Laibuta, and Ngenye Masharia have dismissed as premature the application by Itumbi. Now, this uh, development comes as the three Three judge bench at the High Court, uh, led by Justice Akaji Kimondo, resolved the judgment on the matter for 3rd of July this year. It is a blow for Chief Administrative Secretaries as their prayers to have them earn salaries pending a court suit was quashed. The Court of Appeal cited that issues raised by Dennis C. Tumbi were yet to be determined by the High Court that finalized hearing the matter Friday. Defense lawyers led by Matt Somani at the three-judge bench at the High Court to dismiss the petition with cost implications since they are contesting the additional 23 CSs which fall under additional numbers. Those orders are directed against my clients, yet there is no one, uh, whether it is the petitioners or the respondent, who has said anything as against a constitutional infringement against my client. My Lord, whereas the judiciary is vested with powers to adjudicate disputes, the executive has specifically been vested with powers. A move that was vehemently opposed by the petitioners, citing it is a matter of public interest that involves taxpayers' money. For public participation to be meaningful, we, the public, ought to have the benefit of an analysis of why the measure in question is considered necessary. The flexibility of employing accountants cannot be compared to officers in the high office that will significantly impact the structure and nature of government. And Gabriel Njoroge Mbudia will spend his life in prison after the court found him guilty of two offenses. Trial Magistrate Bernard Choi said the court has beyond any reasonable doubt found him culpable of defrauding and forging land documents of a parcel of land in Nanyuki. I therefore find that uh, the offense of uttering a false document has also been proved against the accused uh, beyond reasonable doubt. The accused person is uh, therefore found guilty in count two and convicted under section 215 CPC. Also a convict serving 100 years in jail has blamed a donor and ex-girlfriend for fixing him in a defilement case. Your Honor, the, the following morning, the board members came as usual for the meeting because I had no way to communicate to them. I've been arrested. They came for the, bo for the board meeting in the morning. And funny enough, they find Bridget waiting for them at the children's home. And this is what Bridget tells the, 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 the board members that Steve was trapped yesterday by police officers and she had no idea why I was being robbed, why I was being arrested. So the board members came. to Kayola police station. Steven Zukimutisi was put on defense where he told the trial magistrate that his arrest and subsequent charge was plotted by his German ex-girlfriend since she wanted to divert funds meant for the children's upkeep to her own account. Ruth Wamboy for Easy Friday.